I really don't know the reason what happened, but I know she bled a whole lot. And it took them a long time to call the doctor before. Um, it just took them a long time to call the doctor. I, I sat there and I watched my daughter bleed out of her mouth and her nose. And finally when her, I'm sorry, I just think she bled too much. She then, she then went into, into cardiac arrest and she's been classified as brain dead. Um, but the hospital have been trying to put pressure on you to try and take her off the life support machine. You don't want to do that. Tell me why you don't want to do that. I don't want to take my daughter off life support because I love my child. And I walked her into that hospital and she was perfectly fine. There was nothing wrong with her. She had no health problems. Even when she got out of the surgery, I talked to her. And the only thing she said was that her throat hurt and that she wanted a popsicle. And um, when she got to ICU, that's when everything went bad. So I don't want her off life support because I really feel like she can wake up. I feel like it's just been a rough week for her. And if they just give her some more time, that she'll be able to wake up. Um, Amari, your uh, Jahai's uncle, it's obviously incredibly distressing for all of you as a family and an incredibly complicated situation between the family's wishes and between what the medical experts believe to be the situation and how they would normally act with this. Uh, they would say, I, I guess, that if, if Jahai is medically brain dead, then there is no hope of recovery and that there is a need to turn off the life support so they can actually examine her properly and get some explanation for what happened. And the longer you leave that, the less chance there is of finding any evidence of what happened. What, what do you say as a family to that? Well, as a family, um, our, our faith is so strong that we don't even think about the possibility of death. Um, you're still talking about an autopsy and evidence, which means Jahai is going to eventually completely pass away. So, you know, death is so far from our minds and our, our faith is so strong that we don't even think about that. Um, we were told today that, you know, right now, everything that's going wrong with her, that she's healing because, of the, because she's on the ventilator. Um, and as I stated earlier, that's a good thing. She's healing, she's resting, and we believe with all the prayers from everyone around the world and the prayers with our family that she will wake up that she will heal completely. Christopher Dolan, you're an attorney. Um, there's clearly a, a, a very complicated ethical legal dilemma here to be resolved. What is the legal position in terms of who has the final say over what happens now to Jahai? Well, I think first it's important to know that Jahai is a person, not evidence. And that's part of what's been troubling the family to classify her as evidence and to end life support so that they can find out what happened, I think is a ruse.